All right, beach bums, it's getting on the ship time. I'm telling you, I was trying to, I was trying to jump on earlier just to kind of give an update of what's going on. That's Lexi, my youngest. Um, but it's that's the rest of the gang right behind me. It was really hectic. I'll try to fill you guys in a little later. I'll probably try to find a little spot to sit and give an update. But yeah, definitely, um, definitely more hectic than the Radiance. I, I know part of it's because it's delayed and all that stuff, the panorama, and I'll fill you in on that. So talk to you all in a bit. What's going on, beach bums? I'm, I had to find me a nice quiet spot. I'm in the casino, which isn't on, or isn't on, isn't open uh, right now. So this is a good spot to uh, to talk to you because everywhere else is super busy. Um, so I just kind of want to catch you up to this point. So we um, stayed at the Hotel Maya last night. Um, it's nice, I love the Maya. I know some people are like, ah, it's too expensive, it's overrated. I, I get it. The grounds are really nice. I'd stayed there twice before. My family's never stayed there. So for me, we're originally at the Cove and then I switched to the Maya just so that my wife and daughters can experience the Maya. So it was nice. We enjoyed it. They really loved it. Um, my my wife and I, um, well, we all went to dinner at the Fuego there just so they can experience that as well. And then uh, my wife and I kind of hung out at the hookah place. In the evening, they have like a hookah place in the back corner. And anyway, so it was nice. Um, uh, uh, one thing I don't like about the Maya, I'll tell you, is the beds. The beds are not comfortable at all. So just keep that in mind. You can ask them maybe for some extra cushioning or like comforts or something to lay down or whatever. But that's just one thing you might want to keep in mind is the beds are not super comfortable, especially for the price that you pay. The other thing that, uh, so then from there we, we went and uh, grabbed some Starbucks in the morning before I headed over the port and just because they had told us that there was going to be an hour delay. That's something that's been happening on the panorama. So for those of you coming on the panorama, just be aware they'll send you an email, they'll send you text messages if you opted for text messages and let you know that, that it's kind of been pushed back. They've, they've, they're just having issues getting back. Uh, here on time and all that anyway, that's just something that um, you can uh, you can talk to carnival about I don't want to get into it here and all that. But anyway, it is it is what it is. So um, Because of that it was uh, I think and I haven't been on the panorama since October 2021, but it was nuts uh, Getting into the port like we came in from the Maya so we kind of like got brought in like in a back way So we got dropped into where all the lines are to go in to get your ticket um, like on the far left side where there's already lines formed so you kind of had to unfortunately cut in to get into the lines there's no other way so that was kind of and there was nobody out there managing this traffic so people were getting upset because they're like you know they thought we we're cutting in well we were brought that direction there was no other way for me to you know get into those lines so that was kind of a mess and, and I'm, i don't know how much control carnival has over that because that's kind of a port or terminal thing so anyway it I wish they would have somebody out there helping to control that traffic situation because there's other people in my same situation. So that was something that was um, could be hopefully cleaned up a little bit. And then once we got in and got our ticket and then um, to go pull into the uh, uh, parking structure, there was a little bit of a wait. I guess they were trying to make sure that they're clear. So they kind of had traffic stopped waiting. And then once we, after waiting, I don't know, maybe five minutes or so, then they let us in. And then they had somebody there saying, are you dropping people off? Or are you dropping luggage off? Or picking people up or dropping luggage off? So there's two different uh, ways to come in. And uh, so we were, I dropped my wife and kids and luggage off and then uh, went and parked and then came back and met them. So um, that made it a lot easier. So just uh, as a, as a note to anybody else, if, especially if you're coming with a large family with um, a lot of luggage and that kind of thing, uh, do the, drop them off, drop them off with the luggage and all that, and then go park instead of trying to get through the parking structure with a bunch of luggage and, and family members. It, again, chaotic because people are, are leaving, right? The, the last Panorama Cruise passengers are leaving and then the new Panorama passengers are coming in. So just again, just it is what it is. I'm not complaining. I'm just trying to give you things to just be aware of so you can, you know, one um, plan for it right and just hopefully reduce some of the stress it, it was a little bit stressful uh, you know but especially because on the radiance it's it's just it was it's been a smoother process for me that's all I've done so for me it was just like wow this is this is a lot to try to uh, navigate and all that anyway <clears throat> um, and then we got into the terminal uh, because they were delayed behind there's a little bit of you know of confusion for people like where to go which line to go but they did a pretty good job the staff the, the port staff does a really good job uh, of managing that so you know right away we we're told go to priority to the priority line <coughs> for you know they saw that I had the priority flag or whatever on my um, boarding pass sorry I know I'm trying to kind of get through all this I know it's a lot of talking but 
it's really important information that especially if you're coming for the first time or first time in a long time on the panorama for me it's just been a, a couple of years right but since then it's changed right the the, the since then um you know they've dropped a lot of the requirements so that the ships are sailing full and all that anyway um once we got into the terminal for the most part you know because we're in the priority line we got to go on the far left side go do our security or our um boarding documents check travel document check through security into the terminal short wait um inside the terminal before they started the boarding process I wish I would attract time. I'll tell you, it was just like I said, so much going on, and with having my family with me and trying to help guide them, I wasn't able to vlog throughout the the, the course that I normally do. For those of you who follow me and follow me on the radiance, it just hasn't been that easy. And of course, I think I've told people I really want to concentrate on my family and cruising with them, and, and not so much on the vlogging. But I do want to try to share information where I can. So I hope everybody understands that. Um, so that's why I'm trying to do this recap now. They're waiting they're getting their luggage and getting their stuff so this is a perfect time for me to do this um what else what else so we got in once the boarding process started it went pretty quick so they, they did the priority boarding and then started the general boarding after that um we got on the ship and you know it was there wasn't that many people on there so we went and dropped our luggage off again because of the priority we we're able to drop our not luggage but our carry-on stuff drop them off in the cabin leave do our muster drill and get that done again super quick and easy and then went and got something to eat um and then just been exploring just exploring the ship that's been a lot of fun again just kind of seeing it um for the first time through my family's eyes and you know for me it's been a few years so it's just been fun kind of get getting reacquainted why i came down to the casino i wanted to check out where my, some of my favorite slot uh machines are and down here so i thought okay let me come check it out and uh, do this little recap um what else what else i think of anything else i'll come back and tell you but again sorry i know this was kind of a lot of information a lot of talking i try to you know give it to you in pieces but I, I'm tr also trying to uh, again balance uh, having some uh, time with my family and uh, keeping you all informed so we'll talk to you all soon again uh, I may add some more stuff to this embarkation day video uh, of course as always uh, drop uh, you know questions down in the comments and if I forgot something or maybe I'll learn something later that I forget to add to the video I'd be happy to uh, get that information for you so we'll talk to you all soon take care beach bumps bye Hey Beach Bums, it is cabin tour time. We are staying in a uh, deluxe ocean view. It's a, um, a down on deck one room. Cabin 1264 and uh, let's take a look. So one of the differences, and you'll see that with the deluxe ocean view is you get that extra little uh, bath area and I'll show that here a little bit. But we, there's the ocean view itself, a really big window. And we've already dropped our stuff off in here. I had my daughters right there in the cabin next door. I had my daughters drop their stuff off in here. But yeah, so you have just real quick and we'll do it. You have the regular um, restroom and then you have this one. So that's the one difference in these deluxe ocean views is this one has the little wash area, which is great, especially <laughs> for my daughters. Um, you know, when they want to do their makeup and stuff, they'll have two different areas if the other one's getting ready. So I love, I love that. Um, that was a great thing kind of worked out. Um, but anyway, so this is the bed. So this is the bedroom for my wife and I. And we've got the two twins put together for a king. Got your little nightstand there. Another nightstand behind uh, all that stuff over here. And then you've got the little couch area here that could become um, a bed if needed. So you got that. Of course, the little vanity area, a little coffee table. And um, over here, you've got your ports. So you got your outlets, your two USB ports. And you've got your uh, European plug and then the shelving over here and it looks like drawer here with the uh, blow dryer and then here's the uh, little fridge cooler over here okay and let's just walk in here real quick so yeah so as you see this one actually has the bathtub and um, a little mirror sink okay and then the other one has the full shower as you can see there the full shower and again with the mirror and wash and all that and then the toilet so that one didn't have a toilet obviously this is the um the climate control snoozing sign over here and then all of your all of your storage will be over here some more 
cabinet space or, or sorry, drawer spaces here, slide out drawers and shelving, your safe. Let's go over here. And here's your full closets with a mirror over here. Tons of hangers. Like people are always asking about hangers. I mean, they give you a lot, but if you need more, you just ask, ask your room steward. So that's your, uh, that's your closet space. And uh, let me walk over to 1264 which they're right next door to us our daughter or 1262 so ours is 1264 and they've got basically the same setup the only time i want to show you is they have the two twins here and here and then this will turn into a bed for uh my, my third daughter